everyone welcome back to my channel i am so excited about today's video today we are going to be talking all about some really simple really easy basic health and wellness habits you guys know that i love this topic so i am really excited i really just wanted to talk about these things because sometimes i feel like in this space you can hear all sorts of crazy intimidating things that are like step 10,000, and then you haven't even built the foundations with steps one to five at the beginning of this year i wanted to take things back to basics and make things really simple for myself and if you guys haven't watched my video all about my approach to 2021 in general i will link it because i think that there might be something in that video that will speak to you and how you can make your goals achievable but anyway that's a whole different topic but today i really just wanted to bring that mindset back to health back to wellness and just live my best life in 2021 so these things are really simple these things are really basic but hopefully you will be able to draw some inspiration let's jump into the video if you guys are following me on instagram you will know that i started a fitness challenge at the beginning of this year i set the goal for myself to exercise every single day for at least 30 minutes for 30 days so it was my 30 for 30 challenge i had not done any form of physical activity consistently for at least a few months so it was literally jumping in the deep end and a part of me didn't know if i was going to be able to do it i'm not going to lie to you but when i tell you that i showed up for myself and i did not skip a single day it was an amazing experience for me only because it really made me feel like i could do anything and that was something that i really needed at that time it was a great mindset reset so i've kept up with that ever since that's done so today is actually day 41 or 42 for me i can't remember i need to check but i have kept up with that challenge and it's been so incredible because obviously we're all in lockdown so just being able to have that back into my routine has been amazing for my mental health i do have a workout for you guys so you can see the sorts of things that i have been doing i vlogged a little bit for you guys so i'm just gonna roll that footage right now so today i'm doing a total body workout i'm gonna need a dumbbell a chair and my mat which i all have at home which is fine so i'm going to do a quick ride on my bike to warm up and then i'm still going to do this warm up and then this is the circuit for today and then there's also an amrap and a finisher When I tell you, I am so gassed about my Peloton coming. Whew. I love the Peloton classes. That was a five minute warm up. And it was amazing. <laughs> um, I think I might get some questions on my setup. So let me just quickly show you all on here. I don't recommend it. So this is just an exercise bike that I got off Amazon. No, sorry, off Argos. I will link it if you're interested. It was really inexpensive. It was under 100 pounds. And then I got this bike mount. This was from Amazon again, and it was about 10 pounds maybe. So I can put my iPad in there or my phone. But I typically will use my iPad because it's obviously a larger screen. I have the iPad mini 4. It fits in there perfectly. And I just use the Peloton app. You know, I can't stand in this bike um you obviously don't get statistics on like your resistance or your cadence or anything like that so you can't really use it as a spinning bike at all <laughs> but i try to follow along as much as possible two minute uh, rest and then we're gonna do that circuit three more times. Best set, best set. If you know who says that, leave a comment down below. Let's get it. Hi. 
halfway through my AMRAP. I've got six rounds in. Let's see if I can get another six. Ten reps, baby. I'm gonna do some stretches. I actually started off with the Peloton app when I first started this challenge because I wanted to order a Peloton. I've had that exercise bike that you guys have seen for such a long time. I think after one or two classes, I was so convinced that I wanted a Peloton. I'm a spinning fanatic. I've always loved spinning. It's always been my favorite form of cardio. My bike is coming in four days, guys. I've been on a seven week wait list, so. I'm so excited, I don't think you understand. I'm so excited. So if you guys wanna see the unboxing of my Peloton whenever it comes, or you wanna hear my review on it, let me know, cause I will be so happy to do that for you. But yeah, the Peloton app has a free two month trial at the moment, I think. And they don't just have spinning classes, they have strength classes, um, yoga, bar, so many things that you can do on the floor without a Peloton. So. If you're looking for a really good app with really good instructors, amazing music selection, something that will be varied every single day, then I highly recommend the Peloton app. Besides spinning, my second favorite form of exercise is strength training. And I prefer program-based strength training as opposed to a class-based strength system. So I decided to purchase the Tone and Sculpt app. You guys should have seen my workout. I highly recommend this app as well. They've got nutrition on there. They've got so many different programs. I'm currently doing the home program with Danielle for four weeks, the beginner one. And it is so intense. You get a really good workout. I don't think I filmed it, but that day was a long workout for me. They're not typically an hour. Typically my workouts are around 30 to 45 minutes, but on that day, I think I burned about 400 calories. The Tone and Sculpt app also has a free trial for two weeks, so you can try it out, no commitment, and see how you like it. I actually purchased a year. It worked out to be about 60 pounds for the year because they had 30% off at the time, and I shared that on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you really do need to follow me because I share a lot of useful information on my Instagram. So since we're talking about working out, maybe we should jump to supplements. Supplements for me are something that I try again to keep really, really simple. If you're not new to this channel, you will know that I like to take a multivitamin and I also take a vitamin D. I take a thousand milligrams of that and a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. I recently started taking BCAA. BCAA stand for branch chain amino acids. There are three amino acids and the one that I take, I will put them on the screen because I cannot pronounce them. Basically, they help you to lose fat without losing your muscle. They encourage you to build more lean muscle, which encourages you to lose more fat, which is great because it speeds up your metabolism. Another thing that's really good about BCAAs is that they're supposedly help with muscle recovery. Now, I can't talk too much about fat loss and all that because I've only been taking them for a week, but I can speak to muscle recovery. When I first started the Tone and Sculpt program, when I tell you I was so sore, <laughs> I had to rub deep heat into my muscles, I had to take a bath and soak in Epsom salts, like it was crazy. But ever since I started taking the BCAAs, I still feel tired, like I worked out really hard, but I don't feel that achy, sore feeling. I don't know if it's a placebo, I don't know if it's because I'm getting stronger, but I'm all for it. I really like it. And I like the fact that you just put it in water, you can drink it like juice. <laughs> like, it's great. Another thing I started taking recently is collagen protein powder. It's dairy free, which is good for me. I'm lactose intolerant if you don't know. The other thing that was really important to me was the supposed hair, skin, and nails benefits. I will link the protein powder that I've been taking down below. And you will see it a lot in my nutrition section. I realized that I was just not drinking anywhere near enough water, so I decided to download a water tracking app. I bet you didn't know that existed, because I sure as hell didn't. <laughs> I'm using this app, it's literally called Water Tracker, I will link it down below. And I've set it to remind me to drink water every single hour, and it's the most annoying thing, because it goes up on my phone, it goes up on my watch, but honestly, it works. I've set a target to drink a gallon of water a day, 
Most days I do not hit that, but most days I hit at least three liters. A gallon of water works out to be about 3.78 liters for us that use the metric system. Basically, it helps me to drink a lot more water because before I started using this app, I think I was probably averaging just under two liters a day, which is really not enough. Everyone doesn't have to drink a gallon of water a day. You can actually find out how much you're recommended to drink based off of your weight and I think your activity level. If you Google it, I'm sure you'll find something. So yeah, it sends reminders like every hour. So see, Fayema, drinking water helps relieve stress. Drink a glass of water and rest. So it sends reminders like that. And then you can track how much water you're drinking, which I think is really important. And the app lets you put in how much tea, milk, a bunch of different things. So it really does help you to just stay on top of your hydration levels guys let's talk about my favorite part food <laughs> eating healthy just makes me feel good about myself I'm mean, that's the easiest way I can put it and I think the thing for me that really helps me is to think about what my body needs to function think about food as fuel but also think about food in a way that's enjoyable like you also want to enjoy what you're eating I wanted to be in a position to eat well to where I felt satisfied but I still want to lose a little bit of weight. I personally think that I'm someone that has bought into diet culture their whole life and I'm really trying to undo that. I really want to approach uh, weight loss and fitness from a position that is sustainable, from a position that is achievable, and from a position that is fun. But I'm still really new to this new way of approaching weight loss because you guys will see from my old weight loss videos, like it's very easy for me to say, you know what, I'm gonna eat 1200 calories and hit my weight loss goal. I didn't wanna do that anymore. Time around, I decided to try something different. I went on ifitfitsyourmacros.com. I will link it down below as well. That is a website where you can put in all your custom information, your height, your weight, your goal, your fitness levels, your body fat, so many different things. And it will recommend to you how many calories that you should be eating and then the composition of what those macros should be in order for you to hit your goals. I thought that it would be interesting to kind of show what I've been eating for the past week and how I've been trying to hit those goals. It's really great because I don't feel deprived. I don't feel hungry all the time. I feel like I'm getting in what my body needs. So I have lost weight, but it's really not about that. It's more about the fact that for me, I'm doing it in a way that just feels pleasant you know and i really just wanted to share that so i'm gonna roll the footage on what i ate this particular day this is not a reflection of what i eat every single day but it is pretty much what i've been eating for the past week or so all the ingredients for my breakfast and collagen protein this is the unflavored dairy-free greek yogurt honey <laughs> some berries I've literally been cleaning my house since I last saw you. I'm about to make some lunch. It's really easy. I picked this up from Waitrose. It has wheat berries, green lentils, edamame beans, kale, broccoli, black quinoa, oil, mint, salt, lemon zest, rapeseed oil, garlic puree, and black pepper. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna put that in the microwave for three minutes. This is just some salmon that I seasoned and cooked in the oven for about 18 minutes. That is gonna go back in the microwave for one more minute. I really like rocket, so I try to get a salad that has rocket in it. This is the dressing I've been using. So I'm gonna do two servings, which is 30 grams. And then I literally just mix everything together. Yeah. Mmm, so good. Oh, and then with this, I will have a kombucha.
this literally tastes like a plum candy. I don't know how to describe it, but I really, really like it. Just finishing off my salad and watching Abby Sharp. <laughs> you learn a lot about nutrition from watching her videos, so I've been watching her all day today. The easiest way to measure out peanut butter, or anything that comes in a jar really, is to zero off your scale and then if you just scoop out the amount, now I know that I have 12 grams on this spoon. So I really try to think of all my meals in terms of carbs, fats, and protein now. So here we have the fats and the peanut butter, the carbs and the rice cakes, and my protein matcha. Okay, so this is my last bottle of water for the day. So I'm gonna put a vitamin C tablet in my jug of water. Rest, right? I've talked about supplements, eating, exercise, water, and the last one is rest. Rest is so important. Like, I am the kind of person who has always needed to get a good night's sleep to function. When we all went into lockdown, I think that was the first thing for me that went out the window was the sleeping schedule. Especially before I had a job, I definitely was like up until whenever, waking up whenever, sleeping whenever. I don't do that anymore. I don't feel good doing that. I don't know if you guys know this, but the Apple Health app is really amazing. I use it for everything now. You can track your cycle on there, how often you exercise, your steps. Anyway, you can track your sleep cycle on there. So I've set up a sleeping cycle for myself on my Apple app, yes I know. And basically I've set my bedtime and my wake up time. And the cool thing about it is my phone will actually set me a reminder like an hour before my sleep time to let me know like, you know, you should be going to bed at 11, you should be winding down. <laughs> and then during the times where I'm meant to be sleeping, it'll put my phone on do not disturb automatically. It also will put up an image on your phone if you do pick up your phone during that time to remind you that, hey, you should be sleeping. And I think it's a really good way to get you into the mindset of preparing for bed. If you guys want to see a nighttime routine for me, let me know and I can do a whole video on that. All right, so this has been a really long video, I'm sure. I hope you have found something useful to take away from it. If you have, please leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I upload content every single Sunday at 6 p.m. on here. If there's anything you want to see, or anything you are curious about relating to health, wellness, productivity, general lifestyle. I'm on an Invisalign journey right now. Whatever the case may be, leave your questions down below, leave your suggestions down below, and I might end up making a video on it. So thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed, stay safe, and take care. Bye. Bye.